Hello there guys, this is Professor De here and today I'll be doing another Chaos Galaxy video and we'll be taking a look at a really good deck, uh, not exactly good in the competitive scene, but this deck should be able to get you into the competitive scene. Uh, this is a budget deck so you can build this deck in, in real life with very little, uh, well with a tighter budget. Of course, you do have a few staple cards in here that are a little bit hard to get, but with the release of the new um, uh, Creators of Chaos Packs, it should be a lot easier to build this deck. However, I do have some replacement cards, which I'll get into later. Uh, so if you guys do need a budget option, there will be one as well. But this is sort of the best variation of this deck. And yeah, so let's get into it. So to make this deck, I would recommend that you first buy two copies of the Sindian starter deck, uh, which features the Utopian archetype. And the reason why you need two is for the combiner and the uh, uh, cover card, which is Yangelion. But yeah, let's just get right into it and you'll see along the way. So uh, first we start off with the planet Sindian. Um, not much explanation to do here, it's it's obviously going to be our planet card, but a planet Sindian is going to allow us to uh, sort of protect our weaker creatures with our stronger ones. So yeah, so we have the planet Sindian, and of course this is one of the ha harder cards to get, uh, but we have Stalius of Sindian. Uh, this card is not exactly required, however, it's a really good card that can that has really high stats, although it costs 9 stars uh, and is a 330, 470. Uh, the ability is where this card is really good at. So if Sindian is our planet card, which it will definitely be, uh, this uh, Stalius of Sindian will gain 100 power, making it a 430, 470, which is really high and really good stats and then if the zone creature is killed you free play one of your killed Sindian creatures uh, so with this card you can free play any creature that you want uh, and you'll see later what creatures I'm talking about but mostly most of the time you'll want to play our next card which is Yangelion so Yangelion is one of the uh, strongest Sindian cards uh, well, right next to Stalius. So Yangelion is a very good str uh, card draw card and it's actually really good as an 8 star card. Although its stats are pretty okay. Uh, not like too good, but not too bad either. Uh, the 420 power is very, very strong. It gets past a lot of uh, creatures. And the 430 health is a, a really nice sweet spot where it cannot be killed by Pelfam, which is a really meta card now. Uh, now, So this card is just really, really good. And plus it allows us to... Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll just read the ability. So once per turn, you can reveal the top two cards of your, or off your deck. Uh, add one revealed Sindian creature to your hand and return the other cards. Uh, to the bottom of your galaxy. So this is a very good search card and it's basically a card draw card so it's just really really good. For 8 stars you're, uh, it's basically a draw engine and it's pretty hard to kill at 430 health so it's really really good. Uh, of course we're gonna be running two copies of this however since I only bought one of the Sinian starter decks I'm forced to use a proxy which is uh, Humongous Ancient Rockman here, but you'll definitely want two copies of Yangelion because he's such a good card. And honest, honestly, getting two starter decks is very worth it uh, if you if you plan to play Sindian uh, quite a lot. Uh, so the next card we have is a Utopian card. So it's etched a Utopian guard. You get two copies of this in the starter deck, and it's really really good. Uh, what is what it's gonna do? It's it's basically a car. Uh, a, sorry, a star engine. So uh, the ability reads: once per turn, you can gain two stars for every other zone Utopian creature. So this doesn't just include the Utopian guard cards; it also includes uh, 
other utopianons that you that you want to run. Uh, in this case, we didn't really. Uh, you you'll see what we run later, but uh, Etch can basically gain. Uh, it it can gain quite a lot of stars. Like in the late game, when you have like uh, a lot of uh, utopianons on your planet, you'll see that you'll gain like eight stars just by using Etch's ability. Uh, unfortunately, it cannot count itself. However, if you have two etches, it can count for each other. So, yeah, it's a really good uh, star engine. Plus, it's a one star, and having low health is very good for Sindian because it's protected by the other creatures. So, this card is very, very good. Uh, next, we have Akab, the Utopian Guard. Uh, for three stars, you're getting a very low stat creature. However, the ability allows you to uh, kill one zone creature if you control another used token on guard. Uh, but however, this ability can only be used when it's cosplay and you must kill the zone creature. So if you play Akab and your opponent doesn't have anything, uh, it's forced to either kill itself or kill something else. So uh, it's although it doesn't sound good like it sounds like it's not gonna be a very good card unless you're playing against a stall deck this card is gonna be very good wiping out your opponent's uh creatures and basically giving a lot of uh, basically allowing you to attack your opponent directly if your opponent is controlling only one creature but if not it just lessens the board and it's just very very good uh plus it makes good setup for a combo that's actually in this deck uh, next we got Dura the Utopian Guard, uh, one of the better uh, Utopian Guard creatures that we're running. So Dura, although has very low power, it does have pretty good health stats. But with all Utopian creatures, of course, for the star cost, the, your stats are not going to be good. However, the ability is that once per turn, if you have another uh, Utopian Guard creature, you can kill one zone resource or attachment card. So this is a very good card, uh, allowing you to remove your opponent's uh, attachments or resources, which is actually really, really powerful. Uh, so yeah, it's just a very good card in general, and it stops some decks sometimes. Uh, but even if it doesn't, it's just a pretty good four-star card at 220 health. You won't. It will get past a few things. Um, but yeah, uh, also the ability can be used multiple times, so that just makes this card even better. Next we got Tadius, the Utopian on General. Uh, so this is actually a rare in the deck, so you actually get two copies of this card, which is really, really nice. So uh, it has 220 power and 200 health, so very low for a 6 star. However, uh, whilst you have two other Utopian on guard creatures, uh, this creature's power and health are double. And because of the reading, uh, it doesn't change its original power and it allows it to be a blaze elixir, allowing it to attack for eight points in total. So it's a very powerful card. And uh, yeah, also the artwork honestly is pretty good for. Uh, yeah, it's just really good for a rare card. Uh, I was honestly, I think that this card should have a really rare uh, reprint sometime, but yeah, it's just a really nice card. And yeah, for six stars, uh, you most likely want to play it when you have other Utopian and Guard creatures out. So yeah. Also, it's one of your targets when you're when you play, or sorry, when Stalius dies. So yeah, that's. Uh, that's just to take note, and we're actually gonna be running one copy of Spirit of the Justice Shield with the meta right now being Sindel. We're definitely gonna want this card in our deck, it's very, very powerful against uh Sindel decks. So, with the meta right now, you're definitely gonna want this card. However, since the meta is could shift at any time, we're only gonna run one copy, and honestly. I might even put this in the sideboard. Uh, next, we're actually going to be running a Sindel card. 
but it is a staple, so we're going to be running one copy of Pelfam. Uh, nothing much said here, it's just very powerful. Um, stats wise, it's really good, uh, and you get a bounce of creatures, so it's removal. So nothing much else to say here. Uh, unfortunately, the card is half banned, so we're only running one copy. Uh, next we have uh, Utopian on Fortress, uh, Entrance, and Stronghold. One of the very powerful Utopian cards in here. We're actually going to run two copies of it, however I don't have a second copy. Uh, the starter deck only gives one copy, so a little bit sad on that part. Um, but it's a pretty good static creature. At 390 uh, health, it's really really strong. And uh, its ability reads, this zone combiner creature counts as two separate Utopian guard creatures. So that's already super strong, uh, allowing it to basically be played and instantly have uh, Tadius to be, uh, well, doubled. And its second ability is once per turn, you can shuffle one killed Utopian on guard, uh, sorry, Utopian on creature into your galaxy to gain one point. So it's a very good card that allows you to cycle back your Utopian on creatures. So, and not only that, it also allows you to gain one point, allowing you to basically uh, increase your points and get closer to the win. Uh, although one point sounds like it's very little, eventually it'll, this will add up, especially if your opponent can't find ways to kill it. So it's actually really, really strong. We're definitely running two copies of this. So yeah. Uh, now we move on to our resources. So we have Emblem of Unity, two copies of this. It's really, really strong card draw. And honestly, I would use this even if I only have one zone Utopanon creature. Uh, but if you have three Utopanon creatures, you can draw two cards. So this is a better version of um, uh, Cosmic Treasure. So you get two copies of this in the starter deck, so that's really, really good. Uh, Emblem of Bravery is uh, another Utopian card, so you just free play one of your Utopian guard creatures, which is very, very strong. Um, although it's not going to uh, go well with Akab, it's, you, you're able to pull out your Duras to basically get your resource and attachment removal engine out. Or you can get your Star Engine, which is the most powerful card to pull back from this, uh, I mean with this card. So your targets are Dura or Edge. Uh, you'll rarely want to target Akka. So yeah, two copies of that. And next we're going to run two copies of Quadruple Wormhole. You get one copy of this in the Star Deck. So getting two Star Decks allows you to have uh, two copies of this. And it's a really good way to shuffle back your, um, well, all, all your sending creatures actually, which is basically your all your creatures here except for Palfan. So you can shuffle back Stalias, you can shuffle back your, you can even shuffle back the Combiner, which is really, really strong. So you're not only cycling your Utopian, uh, your Utopian Guard creatures, you're also shuffling back your Combiner. So very, very strong card. Uh, if you don't have a quadruple wormhole, you can replace it with a double wormhole instead. Uh, this is if you wanna shuffle back your Pelfem as well. Although you much prefer shuffling back a Sinian card. Uh, next we have Creature Conjurer. This actually also comes with, uh, with the Sarah deck, which is very, very good and uh, it's very simple card just add a creature zone and uh, although you might think that this card is not going to be very good because creature conjurer is rarely uh, people rarely run creature conjurer in their decks however uh, as you'll start to realize it actually gets very hard to uh, you start being low on stars so having uh, some conjurer cards is going to be really important in this deck so yeah, uh, it's just a really good card in general uh, for only for this deck though. So yeah, we're definitely gonna be running it in our deck. Uh, so this card is actually not gonna be Cosmic Treasure. 
uh, is actually gonna be Combo Conjurer, if I'm not wrong. Um, so Combo Conjurer's ability, act, sorry, Combo Conjurer comes from the start deck, which is, uh, I think it's the Teclar start deck. So uh, its ability basically reads that you can add two zones. Uh, I think it's two of any zones. If I'm not wrong, or is uh, no sorry, it's two creature zones and two battle zones, and uh, but you have to play combiners into like the first creature played into those zones has to be combiners. So uh, we're gonna be only running one copy of this, but this will combo very well with our Utopian Fortress, where we just play it and we we play the combo conjurers, we play. The fortress and we are and we basically get two free zones and we also get a uh, space for our uh utopian on fortress so combo conjure is really good i don't have the card and my printer broke so i i have to use cosmic treasure for this so yeah my bad on that part uh, next is a stable card we have galaxy crash uh, I mean removal <laughs> so nothing much said here but honestly uh, galaxy crash doesn't have to be run because it does kill your own creatures so if you are on if you're on a budget and you don't have galaxy crash uh, use divine doom instead so divine doom is basically the same thing except it destroys only your opponent's creatures at a cost of one Indian creature in your hand Next, we have Conjuring Hat Cupboard. Um, I think, okay, this card is not as good uh, as before since it cannot, its ability cannot be used when it's first played. However, this will, uh, you, you will start to realize that this card becomes really good when you, uh, as you generate more zones. And zones are very, very valuable in this deck because you really want space for your creatures. So uh, I'm only running one copy of this because it does take up a resource zone, although it can create a new one. It just doesn't feel nice having, like, having to wait a few turns just for that resource zone. Uh, plus, uh, you most likely play this only in mid-game, so it's really rare that you like want to play it. Uh, so yeah, only one copy of this. We don't really need too many. Uh, next is a card that's pretty hard to get. However, you can just get a starter deck for this card, and that's Blaze Elixir. Uh, I was lucky enough to pull one, only one copy of this. Uh, in, I think, sorry, what was the site called? Oh, Legends of the Cosmos. Yeah. So only one copy of this because it's since ban list, but this will combo well with Tadius, allowing you to attack for eight points. Uh, other than that, I don't really see another reason to use this card other than on Tadius, unless you're attacking for lethal, in which case this card would be pretty good. Uh, next we have two copies of KO. You actually get one copy of it in this deck, so that's really, really good. So getting two copies of this deck uh, gets you two KOs, so uh, you can see why getting two um, Sindian Star decks is really really good and it really truly makes this deck budget. Uh, as we've seen earlier, this deck is honestly 90% two Sindian Star decks, so this is a very good deck to start it out, uh, but at the same time be competitive. So we got two KOs. And next is actually going to be Phantom Matter. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was released in the Teclar starter deck. Uh, I could be wrong, and it was released in the Dustrock starter deck. But if it, but if it is released in the Teclar starter deck, uh, you you'll definitely want to get it for the Combo Conjurer card. So if you, so it's a kill two birds with one stone thing. But Phantom Matter is just a really good staple card in general. And the last card is Beast of the Black Hole, a uh, staple card as well. You can actually get this card in the Sindel Star deck, so 
yeah however if you don't want to run this card um other replacements can be planetary fuel which has a slightly worse for sorry a really bad version honestly but um yeah you can replace it with planetary field if you want to so yeah that's the entire entire deck uh for utopanons i think this deck is just really really good and very easy to build it doesn't require a lot of good cards i i would say uh, it has like budget variations where you don't need to run Galaxy Crash and instead run a Divine Doom. Oh, also, uh, Divine Doom comes with the starter deck as well. So getting two starter decks gives you two copies. So honestly, if you're trying to build a competitive deck, um, but you do, but you kind of want to budget out, uh, this is the perfect deck for you. Uh, of course, there are a few expensive cards or hard, like hard cards to obtain, uh, but if you somehow get them from packs, it will be really good. Or if you don't have them, there are replacements, and I'm about to show you them right now. So here are just some replacement cards that you can run. Uh, starting off, we have Time Flash Portal. Uh, this is honestly also a sideboard card. Uh, so Time Flash Portal is very strong in allowing you to attack more aggressively so if you go for a more aggressive playstyle uh, you would definitely want to run this card uh, Trincleric this is a, another sideboard card but you can put this in uh, in place of maybe I think you can sort of replace this with I would say Pelfam if you somehow don't have it so yeah, although it's not the same, it's going to be a little bit more defensive playstyle. So, yeah, uh, this can also be a sideboard card if your opponent has a lot of resource, like removal through resource. Uh, Black Hole Blocker. Uh, honestly, I would try to replace this with certain cards. You can replace this with Beast of, Bl of the Black Hole if you don't have it. Uh, it's a more defensive playstyle though, so, yeah. Uh, Meteorite Storm, I would honestly put this in sideboard in case your opponent wants to run uh, like a lot of resources for some reason, but honestly Dura is enough. Uh, this card is just here if you somehow want to budget out or something, but you honestly like start to realize they barely need it. Uh, next is actually Cosmic Treasure, so we're you can actually just run Cosmic Treasure. Uh, in this deck, you may tend to run into card draw issues like not having enough cards in your hand to play down. So Cosmic Treasure is actually really good in this deck as well. Uh, however, it is a little bit difficult to obtain Cosmic Treasure. You have to purchase the Shia starter deck for it if you want to copy. Uh, next is actually the turn you open on. You get one copy of it. Uh, yeah, you get one copy of it in the starter deck and it's really good because it acts like a fake uh, slush infestation uh, where it not only like occupies a space in your opponent's planet but it also gives you a utopian on guard creature on your planet so you, you're sort of using your opponent's planet for uh, the effects. Additionally, if I'm not wrong uh, this works with etch very well so because etch's ability is gain two stars for every other zone you topen on creature so the turn you topen on counts as two into etch's ability allowing you to gain four stars just for playing one card so you have a net gain of like one star from playing it but honestly you'll definitely have like two utopian on creatures so like another utopian on creature on your uh, planet so you definitely earn like six stars or something so yeah uh, it's just a pretty good card but honestly if you want to run it I would recommend to run one copy because your opponent's uh, planet might be filled with like might be filled with creatures as well so it's a bit risky uh, last card we have Dupap. This is to get back some uh, Utopanon creatures onto your battlefield to trigger Utopanon effects. So you get one card, uh, sorry, you get one copy of this card in the starter deck as well. 
So if you realize, you can honestly fully build a really good deck by getting two copies of the star deck. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I really wanted to make a, a video like this where I could do a budget deck. If you guys want to see more budget decks, I will try to find some and make some. Uh, because Chaos Galaxy is honestly really hard to make good decks out of, especially without a singles market and the fact that cars are manufactured by the game crafter. Uh, Zach is looking to release some planet collection, uh, well, the planet collection, which hopefully allows these cars to be a little bit easier to get. But until we know, um, like every single card in the set, uh, we can't really depend on it at the current moment. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this deck uh, this deck list. I will, if you want to use this deck list uh, in uh, in untap.in, I'll leave the deck list in the description below where you can copy paste it and upload it into untap. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, uh, let me know what planet you want like or what deck you want me to build next uh and i'll try to make the deck uh hopefully my printer gets fixed so i can do other deck lists and yeah i'll see you guys next time goodbye